chica quiere Esa chica quiere selfie, selfie, ella quiere ver What's up you guys? What's up? Of course you already know it's going to be a lace front video. They're called Wiggins and I'll definitely post their hair information below. They sent me their 16x6 lace front wig and it's a deep parting. It has deep parting. It's a loose deep wave 13x6 lace frontal and it has pre-plucked human hairs. Of course the entire thing is human hair. <laughs> It's 180% density, and the price of this wig is $249. In case you guys are like, well, $250 is kind of like, kind of steep. Let's just try 130% density. The price goes down by like $15 to $234.43. Let's just round it off to $235. 130% is really, to me, like a low density because I need like a lot of hair. So we're gonna see how this works out. You guys already know the gist of what I do. I bleached the knots, I purple shampooed it for like a few hours, and then I pre-plucked it, and then I went ahead and washed and conditioned it again just to get these loose, deep waves back. As far as the lace, it's very kind of like there you can see it it's not transparent it's not the hd lace it's just a normal lace but yeah i mean it came out pretty decent it has the standard combs there's the adjustable strap and the comb and the nape some of the bleach did seep through on the sides but i'm not really too concerned about that the hair texture is more or less silky textured you know it has some volume and density to it the wig so when your wig comes from wiggins hair you'll get a Standard box, which is the one that I'm showing you guys in this picture, will stay human hair. You'll also get a satin bag to carry your wig around in. Along with that, a postcard, some elastic, some eyelashes, a wig cap, and of course, your wig. The wig that I have is 20 inches and it's a 13 by 6 lace frontal and it does have a pre plucked hairline. So, the first thing you want to do before you even go ahead and put that wig on, girl, is clean your hairline. Definitely, if you are going to you know tack it on stick it on glue it on gel it on hairspray it on please make sure that you take all of the makeup off the hairline because the wig will not stay down properly so make sure that you clean your hairline and now that we've went ahead and did that okay I'm going to go ahead and put this wig on so the lace is not that bad I mean you do see it of course on my forehead but I will um, tell you guys, I did spray some of my tinting spray on it, but that gave it a little bit of color. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my hair clips. I always tell you guys to use some hair clips when cutting the lace. And the first thing I started off with was the scissors, but I was like, I'm gonna try the brow trimmers. So this was actually the really first time that I tried the brow trimmers with this dull ass brow trimmer. So it took me longer than normal. You know, um, after this first try, I didn't use these to cut the lace anymore. As you guys seen in like more recent videos, I had purchased a new brow trimmer. So make sure that the eyebrow trimmer or whatever tool you're using is sharp enough, but make sure you don't cut yourself. As you guys see, I did cut some of the hair off of the hairline, which I really don't care because, you know, those were pre-plugged hairs anyway. And as you guys do notice on the side right there, that is where the bleach seeped through. But you could definitely fix that with like some dye. Just put some dye on a mascara wand and just brush it into the hair and you'll be good to go. Now I'm just gonna part the wig right above my ear so that way the wig fits properly. You know, this is just my method. You don't have to, but if you don't cut the lace that overlaps your ear, the wig is not gonna fit properly. And plus it's not gonna be really comfortable. You're gonna have to like tuck it behind your ear. If your wig is too big and it's overlapping your ear, just take your rat tail comb and just part it directly above your ear. And then your ear will fit directly underneath the wig and it'll be a whole lot more comfortable, girl. Now I'm just going to go ahead and brush back some of my own hairs. I didn't want my hair getting stuck when I was trying to apply the wig. 
So I'm just gonna take some of my hairspray when it decides to work because the nozzle is stuck. OMG, I hate when that happens. I'm going to just spray a little bit of that hairspray on my edges and just brush it back so that way the wig can stick properly. And I will say the hair is really soft. The hair is exceptionally soft, which I do like. I love me some soft hair. Now it's time to create me some sideburn hairs and I just do that by going to the very end of the unit and just making a part. And I also will use the same method to just make me a little bit of the baby hairs and actually cut away any excess lace. So if you see right here, one side is a little bit too much lace, so I'm just gonna cut that off because it was just a little bit lower. I kind of try not to cut too much at a time and I can always go back and trim off excess like you see me doing here if there's still lace. And even though it looks kind of like transparent, really don't see it against my skin. Can see it a little bit, but like I stated, I did use my tinting hairspray or my tinting spray for the cap just to make it look a little bit more blendable and meltable, girl. So if you ever have a problem with your lace blending with your skin tone, I would definitely highly suggest getting you some tinting spray. You can either get it from Tailored Crowns have a nice collection of tinting spray or wig extensions which also has some really good tinting spray they are a little bit cheaper but the bottles are a little bit smaller it's great if you want to try it out and decide if you like it or not so I do like wig extensions a lot so this part I'm just showing you guys where the bleach came would seep through a little bit and like I said you can take you a mascara wand with some of your dark uh, hair dye and just brush it onto that area where the bleach seeped through so now I'm just going to go ahead and adhere my wig. I use the Got To Be Glam Force hairspray. I did purchase some new hairspray thanks to one of my subscribers which is the Bedhead so I have been using that testing it out for the past four days and it actually holds really good just as well as the Glam Force does also. I think they both give like the same type of hold but it all depends on you know your body chemistry. I have oily skin and I sweat. I perspire. It all depends on your body temperature. Now the wig does look a little bit more redder in the front, okay? And that is because I did spray my hairspray onto the unit. And I did notice that sometimes when you use the tinting spray and you go ahead and just spray like your products to adhere the wig, it seems to get a little runny. So you just wanna take a tissue or a wet cloth and just dap it. I would suggest allowing that tinting spray to settle into the unit a few days prior to applying it if you're going to use any type of adhesive to apply the wig. And you just want to take your comb, excuse me, your scissors or your trimmers or whatever you're using to cut the hair and just cut your baby hairs and sideburn hairs to a desirable length. And that's what I'm doing, girl. And now for the Got To Be Volumaniac Styling Mousse. I'm going to use that just to, you know, sculpt those baby hairs and just style my hair. I like this mousse a lot, but I will tell you this. It seems like whenever I decide to use it sometimes, it kind of allow, it kind of makes my wig lift. So I'm not really sure if it has alcohol in it or what it's what it has in it to make my wig lift sometimes, but I do like it, but not as much as I like my Dollar Tree mousse, which is by Salon Selectives. That one never lifts my wig, and it always seems to work properly. It works really good for a dollar, girl. So, you know, don't spend a lot if you don't need to. You can definitely get you some good mousse at the Dollar Tree. And the one that I use is Salon Selectives, and it's in a pink can. And as you see right here, I'm just kind of like brushing the hairs upward and kind of like in a curved method because I really don't want too many baby hairs on my forehead. I just really don't like baby hairs on my forehead for some reason. I don't know if it's because my head is long or what, but I'm just not like a huge fan of baby hairs on my forehead. I try to avoid them as much as possible. Now I'm just going to freshen up my makeup some, girl, because you know I had to wipe it all away.
Now the parting in this unit is six inches, so that's plenty of parting, okay? You have enough parting to make it look natural, realistic, do whatever you wanna do, girl, but you have enough parting. I'm just gonna take that same mousse and kinda like just put some in the front so that way my hairs can lay down and also I can just kinda like style it. I like a little bit of height and volume in the front of my hair. The curls are popping and I do like the hair texture a lot. actually really really soft you know for 249 I would want the, the lace to be like transparent I'm gonna be honest like if I'm gonna pay 249 I really want the lace to be very transparent you know HD that's just my opinion you I mean I can see it but you know I do like the way I didn't do any baby hairs right here I don't even know what the heck I did but I did it and I'm happy about it um, I like the softness of the hair. Anyway, that concludes my tutorial. And also the combs were sewed dead wrong. Like they're not even right here. They're up here going backwards. Like they were sewn dead wrong. It is what it is. So I gotta go. I wanna do another video before I pick up Mumsy. So I love you guys. Stay Ziva and Zivalicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up. Let me know what you think. In case you want to know where I got the Zelda t-shirt from, you can check your local Target and they have loads of t-shirts and this is in the men's section. I wear a size medium. So I love you. I'll see you guys soon.